in the grand complex theater of human biology, there's a constant tension between decay and renewal. We're told that decline is inevitable, a graceful acceptance of creaking joints and fading energy. But what if we've been reading the script all wrong? What if biology isn't just a predetermined fate, but a programmable system, a system with its own code, its own switches, and its own cheat codes that we are only now beginning to understand? Hi, I'm Dr. Mike. Today, we're venturing beyond the surface level advice and diving deep into the world of peptide science. We're going to talk about five specific molecules that represent a paradigm shift in how we can approach health, aging, and performance. Before we proceed, it's crucial to understand the following. This is not meant to treat, diagnose, cure, and is purely for entertainment. Research peptides are not for human or veterinary use. Use extreme caution when entering the gray market and arm yourself with knowledge. Unlocking your body's code, a deep dive into five foundational peptides. The question I often see is, what are the top peptides? But that's a bit like asking, what's the best tool? The answer depends entirely on the job. Are we talking about injury repair, longevity, metabolic health, or cognitive function? So to bring clarity to this, I've selected five standout peptides. These aren't about stacking or complex synergies. We're looking at them as standalone powerhouses, each addressing a fundamental pillar of human physiology. Let's start with the elephant in the room, or perhaps more accurately, the metabolic train wreck waddling through modern society. The prevailing narrative suggests that the solution to metabolic dysfunction lies solely in more spin classes and meticulously counting macros. But for many, the system is so compromised, the chemical signaling so scrambled that it's like trying to untangle the Gordian knot. The circuits that control appetite, insulin sensitivity, and fat storage have been hijacked. This is where our first peptide, retitrutide, enters the conversation. It's not just another tool, it's what could be called the nuclear option for metabolic restoration. It is a trifecta acting as a GLP-1 GIP and glucagon agonist. Let's break that down. The GLP-1 component works to slow down digestion and significantly dials down hunger signals originating in the hypothalamus. This is about resetting the conversation between your gut and your brain. The GIP component enhances nutrient partitioning. It encourages your muscles to act like sponges for nutrients, soaking them up for energy and repair, rather than allowing them to be shuttled into fat storage by insulin. And finally, the glucagon agonist gives your body little choice but to ramp up fat oxidation. It essentially turns your fat stores into a primary fuel source, burning through the visceral fat that strangles organs and fuels systemic inflammation. The result isn't a temporary fix. It's a fundamental upgrade to your metabolic operating system. It restores insulin sensitivity, torches visceral fat, and rewires the neuroinflammatory mess that drives cravings. It's crucial to understand that metabolic disease is not just about aesthetics. It's a physiological crisis that shrinks your brain's hippocampus, damages your cardiovascular system, and creates a state of chronic, low-grade inflammation. Retitrutide addresses the problem at the source code level by pulling all three of these powerful metabolic levers at once. It's a masterclass in chemical engineering designed to cut the head off of metabolic disease. Now, if retitrutide saves you from the consequences of lifestyle, our next peptide attempts to save you from the most relentless hunter of all, time itself. Every cell in your body is on a countdown. This countdown is governed by telomeres, the protective caps at the end of our DNA strands. Think of them like the plastic tips on a shoelace. Every time a cell divides, those telomeres get a little shorter, a little more frayed. When they become too short, the cell enters a state called senescence. It's alive, but it's useless and worse. It often secretes inflammatory signals, contributing to the aging process. This brings us to our second peptide, epitalon. Despite being a tiny molecule, its impact is monumental. Its primary function is to reactivate an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase is the body's natural mechanism for rebuilding and lengthening telomeres. It's like a repair crew that shows up to lengthen the fuse on your cellular dynamite, preventing the inevitable explosion. In animal models, the effects have been profound. We're not just talking about subjects appearing healthier for their age. We're talking about a quantifiable extension of lifespan, period. But it gets even more interesting. Epitalon has also been shown to help reset the body's master clock, the circadian rhythm, by influencing the pineal gland. As we age, melatonin production can decline, leading to fragmented sleep and a chaotic immune response. 
By restoring deep restorative sleep patterns, Epitalon ensures that your body's nightly repair crews are actually showing up for work. Your immune system gets the right signals and cellular repair processes that should happen in the dead of night actually happen. So while Redditrutide deals with metabolic chaos, Epitalon deals with biological entropy. It directly addresses the genetic clock, making it one of the most foundational longevity tools being researched today. Let's pivot from the systemic to the structural. Life happens. You will trip, fall, tear, and strain. The human body is remarkably resilient, but it has its limits. Sooner or later, you're going to break. Modern medicine's typical answer involves rest, ice, anti-inflammatories, and eventually surgery. This is often a strategy of management, not true resolution. It's punting the problem down the road. Our third peptide, BPC-157, offers a different approach. BPC stands for body protection compound, and it was first discovered in, of all places, human gastric juice. It's a cornerstone of the body's intrinsic repair system. Once isolated and put to work, BPC-157 acts like the inspector gadget of cellular repair. It seems to have the right tool for almost every job. Its most famous application is in healing connective tissues tendons, ligaments, and muscle, tissues that are notoriously slow to heal due to poor blood supply, experience a dramatic acceleration in repair. It also has a profound effect on the gut lining, helping to restore integrity and combat issues like leaky gut. It protects nerves, helps resolve signal propagation issues, and even aids in repairing cardiac tissue. How does it do all this? BPC-157 turns on a cascade of growth factors, modulates nitric oxide for better blood flow, and promotes angiogenesis, the creation of new blood vessels. It brings the supply lines directly to the construction site. All those nagging injuries, the ones you thought were permanent fixtures of your life, are often a sign of a repair deficit. You're not necessarily old, you are underrepaired. BPC-157 is the tool that can help close that deficit. It doesn't make you invincible, but it dramatically improves your bounce back ability, making you more resilient so that when you do take a hit, you can recover with remarkable efficiency. Now we've covered metabolism, aging, and structural repair, but all of these processes are predicated on one thing, energy. If your power plants go offline, the entire system collapses. The power plants of your cells are the mitochondria. They produce ATP, the universal energy currency that your body runs on. With age, stress, and inflammation, these little furnaces begin to sputter and fail. The result is an energy bankruptcy. It's a pervasive fatigue that no amount of coffee can truly fix because you're not addressing the production side of the equation. This is where our fourth peptide, MOTC, comes in. And this one is wild. MOTC isn't a synthetic compound we designed in a lab. It's a mitochondrial-derived peptide, meaning it is encoded in the mitochondrial DNA itself. Think of it as a firmware update that your cells have been waiting for. It's a native signal that tells the mitochondria how to optimize their function and become more efficient. In a nutshell, MOTC has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, increase the oxidation of fatty acids for fuel, boost exercise capacity, and make cells far more resilient to various forms of stress, like oxidative and hypoxic stress. It transforms stressors into training tools. Instead of breaking you down, challenges like cold shock, fasting, and intense exertion actually make you stronger and more robust at a cellular level. It's the very definition of anti-fragility written into your biology. MOTC doesn't just make your existing mitochondria work better, it can also promote mitochondrial biogenesis, the creation of new ones. It doesn't just top off your battery, it installs a bigger, more efficient power grid. You don't need another stimulant. You need mitochondria that are running on clean, efficient code. MOTC is the reset button that allows them to do just that, turning out ATP the way they were designed to. We arrive at our fifth and final peptide, and this one targets what is arguably the most critical component of the entire system, the engine itself. Your heart doesn't get second chances. Cardiovascular collapse remains one of the leading causes of mortality worldwide. When cardiac muscle tissue dies for the most part, it stays dead. This is why long-term recovery after a significant cardiac event can be so challenging. Our final peptide is TB500. It is a synthetic fraction of a naturally occurring protein called thymosin beta-4, and it is riddled with regenerative superpowers. Its primary mechanism revolves around actin regulation. Actin is a fundamental protein that forms the scaffolding of our cells, allowing them to move, divide, and repair. TB500 mobilizes actin, essentially giving cells the green light to get to work. This drives a whole host of regenerative processes, cell migration, 
the creation of new blood vessels, rapid wound closure, and even the recruitment of stem cells to sites of damage. The results are systemic, faster recovery from muscle tears, enhanced healing of skin and bone, and even as some recent research suggests, repair of the cornea in the eye. But the crown jewel of TB500's abilities is its impact on cardiac repair. Studies indicate it can improve cardiac remodeling after injury, build new collateral blood vessels, and reduce ischemic damage caused by a lack of oxygen. It offers the heart something that modern medicine has long considered almost impossible, a meaningful degree of regeneration. This is not magic. This is prompting the body's own profound, yet often dormant, repair pathways. You can have the strongest chassis in the world, but if your plumbing is clogged and your engine is failing, you're not going to finish the race. TB500 is about laying new clean pipe while you're busy strengthening the rest of the machine. So let's land the plane. Let's bring all five of these concepts together to see the bigger picture they create. First, we have Redditrue Tide, which overhauls your metabolism. It's the master controller of your fuel system, ensuring you run lean and efficiently, unburdened by the inflammatory damage of metabolic disease. Second, Epitalon, which addresses the relentless march of time. It protects the integrity of your genetic code, potentially extending the functional life of your cells and regulating your master biological clock. Third, BPC-157, the master of structural repair. It's your on-call construction crew, rebuilding tissues from your gut to your tendons, ensuring the physical framework of your body remains robust and resilient. Fourth, MOTS-C, the mitochondrial reset. It's the ultimate upgrade for your power plants, ensuring every cell has the energy it needs to perform its duties, from thinking to healing to moving. And fifth, TB500, the guardian of the engine. It provides unparalleled support for the cardiovascular system and systemic repair, protecting the one muscle that absolutely cannot fail, fuel, the clock, structure, power, and the engine. When you cover these five fundamental bases, you're not just living longer. You're living stronger. You become tougher, more capable of taking a hit and bouncing back. You repair faster. Your biology begins to operate with an efficiency that you may not have experienced in decades. Here's the truth that can be difficult to face. Many are not losing the game of life due to bad luck or faulty genetics alone. They're losing because they don't know which levers to pull. They're too busy pulling the levers promoted by slick marketing without a foundational understanding of the physiological systems they're trying to influence. These five peptides represent five of the most powerful and well-researched levers available in the field of geroscience and regenerative medicine. One can continue to believe that kale smoothies and positive affirmations alone are enough to hold back the tide of entropy. Or one can acknowledge that biology is, to a remarkable degree, a programmable system. And for the first time in history, we have access to some of the cheat codes. The clock is always ticking. Entropy is always at the gate, laughing. But now we have the tools to push back. The choice, as always, is yours. Arm yourself with knowledge, understand the mechanisms, and decide what move you want to make. If you found this information valuable and want to continue exploring the cutting edge of health science, please consider supporting the channel. A simple click on the like button and subscribing to the channel makes a huge difference and ensures you won't miss our future content. And for even more in-depth analysis and updates delivered straight to your inbox, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. The link is waiting for you in the description below. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and never stop learning how to upgrade your own operating system. The journey into understanding our own biology is the most profound adventure we can undertake, revealing secrets hidden within our very cells. Every new discovery, every peptide synthesized, is a new chapter in the story of human potential. The principles of repair and renewal are woven into the fabric of life itself, from the smallest plant to the most complex organism. Understanding these systems is not just an academic exercise, it's about learning the language your body speaks. The future of health isn't about managing decline, but about actively building a more resilient, optimized, and vibrant existence.